What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another MLB High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below, comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into that $50 giveaway uh, that I do every week on this channel. I'm going to choose somebody random. Make sure you're subscribed because when I choose, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I will re-choose. It's got to be somebody subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man. <sighs> It's been fantastic times at GreenlightDFS.com. Look, and I'm not just saying that. You can follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. You can see what people are saying, what we're saying. Every single night of the last seven years, I have said whether I've won or I've lost. Um, very transparent on my Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. Like I said, most of my following follows me on there, so I'm able to just kind of talk about things over there. I, no reason for in my opinion, to make videos saying, hey, I won or lost or blah, blah, blah. In the beginning of the videos, I do announce how I'm doing, but... It's just been fantastic times. Uh, I mean, prize picks went unbeaten yesterday out of like eight picks. There's not one that we lost. Um, DraftKings cashed. It's just been fantastic, man. We've won uh, 10 out of the last 11 days. We've profited. And the only day that we didn't profit, we broke even. So it's like, it's been just ridiculous. Uh, things are going fantastic. It's in great timing, too, with NFL coming up. By the way, speaking of NFL, I want to say one last thing, and then we're going to dive into this high five. Um as we all know, preseason football is starting tonight, all right? My recommendation for you guys is to sit back and just enjoy that football's back on. I would not use any of your bankroll or try betting on preseason football. The only thing maybe you could consider is maybe just having fun with it, just to have something to watch and maybe go over or under on some of the players on prize picks or something. But to create a lineup is just ridiculous for preseason, especially uh, the early weeks of preseason anyways, okay? I already know, without even checking, I haven't been on YouTube at all today until I post this video, I will, but I already know that there's people out there, probably people days ago, who posted videos giving advice on week one preseason football. Because here's the thing, they all just care about views. That's the only thing that matters to them. How many, what can I get the most views on it? If I can't get views on it, I'm not really going to post about it. You know what I mean? They all are in it for the views. They all just in it because they, they are the type of people who need to hear the, you're great comments and all that good stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? They need that. They need to see the likes. It makes them feel good about themselves. Trust me. Don't bet on preseason football. Save it for week one, okay? Let these guys make their little videos, get their little views because it's preseason football. I damn sure am not making a preseason football video. There's no reason to. I'm not betting on it. Uh, there's no reason for you to bet on it. Anybody who says they have a fantastic idea of what's going on is lying. Uh, they just want to kind of the, – the thing is, is these guys start making videos super, super early that that way they can get you all on board watching them and then they can be like, you know, maybe their views can be higher throughout the NFL season. I don't give a shit about views. Okay, that's number one. I've told you all that a million times. I don't care if I'm getting 50 views as long as those 50 people are really getting great advice. And you just can't give very good advice about preseason football in the beginning especially. So save your bankroll. Wait for week one, okay? Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with you, all right? I could easily make a video and get all these views like these other scrubs are, okay? But I'm not because I don't care. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just telling you guys don't fall into that trap. Save your bankroll because you will lose way more than you will win throughout preseason football, okay? All right, guys, let's get straight into this high five for today. Excited to keep this streak going, man. GreenlightDFS.com, join the squad. Let's get it. So starting off at pitching, I'm going to go with Jeffrey Springs, and I'm going to go with Cole Reagans. Now, pitching is atrocious on this slate. You have Verlander, who's obviously the most talented, but he's going against Cleveland, who doesn't strike out in Cleveland, and he's 10-4. Uh, Mikolas, that's a mistake because he's going to be pitching in this first game, so he won't be available in the main slate, so I'm going to take that off. That's a mistake for Mikolas to be on here. Uh, I'll adjust that. But Jeffrey Springs is probably my next favorite. I mean, it's there's nothing great about this. There's a few guys you could consider Carlos Carrasco at home, but you're paying 9-1 for a guy who could get the same amount of Springs or same amount as this new guy coming up from the minors, Reagans. Now, I, I did some digging on Cole Reagans, and Reagans is a guy who's got a solid K rate. He K's like over 10 per 9. Um, this is AAA, so, I mean, obviously he's going to have less success here in the majors, but a lot of times in these first starts for these guys who are literally the best pro prospects that you can find, this guy is one of the better prospects that you can find. Um, at 5-1, he's just super duper cheap for a guy who's coming in where the White Sox have never seen a pitch of this guy. I mean, they can watch film, but they've never actually seen it in person. You know what I mean? So this dude's coming in kind of unknown. 
and outside of the little film they can watch on him or whatever, but Cole Reagans is in a solid spot in my opinion. Yes, he's a lefty facing White Sox who are solid versus lefties, but like I said, it's kind of the unknown that makes him have a solid floor in my opinion. Yes, he could come out here and just, you know, be a little nerve-wracked and get rocked, sure. But at 5-1, I'm willing to take the chance he gets me 10 to 15, and I I have him right around the 15 moment. Uh, point mark. So Cole Reagan's at 5-1 really opens things up and pitching sucks so bad I'm willing to take that shot. Um, on the SP2, it's really down the Springs, Cindergard, or spending up for a Carrasco or something. As you can see, I have these guys pro- uh, projected even lower than these guys. I prefer to just go mid-range pitching today. It's all atrocious. Jeffrey Springs got some good swing and miss stuff. He's going against a bad Detroit offense. Detroit is better versus lefties than they are righties, but I don't care. I mean, plain and simple, they're just not a good offense. They're they're just not expected to put up many runs at all. And Jeffrey Springs should be able to get the win and, you know, have a solid outing at only 7-1. So pretty much my strategy on this slate is just go cheap pitching because it's just bad pitching period at first base I'm, I'm rolling with Reese Hoskins Reese Hoskins is only 4k going against Paulo Espino um he's at home Paulo Espino's weakness has been power righties all right he's giving up more to righties than he is lefties I'm going to talk about a lefty I still love regardless in a minute but the power righties for Philly are interesting. Reese Hoskins, Castellanos, these guys are interesting to me because a lot of people automatically want to go lefty-righty, but when you look at Espino's numbers, he struggles more versus righties than lefties. All right, we have the wind blowing out to center. Um, highest total on the slate, and he's only 4K. Reese Hoskins is a fantastic play as well as Castellanos. And let's talk... Kyle Schwarber is my favorite overall bat on the slate. Um, in my opinion, there's a few guys on this slate who have double dong potential, and then there's just a huge gap between the rest. Um, and I'm going to talk about a few of them here in the high five. Reese Hoskins, obviously, home run potential for sure. Kyle Schwarber, he is a lefty against Espino, but Espino, it's not like Espino's been amazing versus lefties and bad versus righties. No, he's been bad both versus both sides. He's just been worse versus righties. Uh, Kyle Schwarber, fantastic spot. Like I said, highest total. Somebody's going to be putting up some runs here, and we already know Kyle Schwarber is the guy who could double dong and has the highest potential on the slate. And in GPPs especially, as you can see, I haven't projected two points higher almost than the next highest guy, who I also love today, and I'm going to talk about him in a second, Jordan Alvarez. Um, but Kyle Schwarber, lefty-righty matchup against the Spino at home, highest total, been mashing, great season so far. It's just, yeah, it's a good spot for Kyle Schwarber, and I'm, I'm going to go with him. If you want to save money off Kyle Schwarber, you can go Castellanos instead, who's super cheap at 3-2, who I love today. But I love those three guys from Philly. Jordan Alvarez, another guy I really wanted to talk about for GPPs especially. Now, you don't have to go this way in cash probably, but in GPPs especially, I want to talk about this. Please act struggles versus lefty power. Um, and Alvarez hasn't hit a home run since like the 29th. So that would tell me he's due. All right. It's been a minute since Alvarez has hit a home run comparative to what we're used to seeing him do. Uh, so I really love this spot for him here. Yes, he's expensive. He's almost 6K, but look at the ch- pricing of our pitchers we have. Look at Castellanos, 3 2. Look at Hoskins, 4K. Like, there's just so many value guys on this slate so far already that it just feels like you're gonna be okay to spend up for the top two bats on the slate and in my opinion that's Alvarez and Schwarber so Alvarez like I said is due plain and simple I feel very strongly that he gets a home run today and he is another guy who could also get two there's not many on this slate who could get two home runs but Alvarez and Schwarber damn sure could so I really like this spot for these guys that's the high five for today pitching kind of sucks all around like I said my thought process here is Jeffrey Springs is going against a horrible Detroit offense at only 7-1 Cole Reagans is at home making his start first start here uh, for Texas going against the White Sox who are solid versus lefties but they just haven't seen this kid yet and he is a top prospect that you can find right now so I think his potential is very solid he's a, like I said over 10 Ks per nine in AAA so he's a solid pitcher he's got some solid swing and miss stuff so I'm excited to see how he goes today and it just kind of opens things up uh, for the rest Reese Hoskins Kyle Schwarber and Jordan Alvarez and then my honorable mention is Castellanos who couldn't make the high five but I love him at three two all right thank you guys for joining me as always remember man sit back and enjoy this preseason football I already know man y'all are still gonna gamble on it it is what it is but I, I gotta try to advise y'all as much as I can to be smart with your money and and uh bet on things that you can really get a good idea of um, preseason football there's just not much idea you could really unless you personally know the coach and get really know exactly what they're thinking and what players are going to want to see a lot of them blah 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 you can wing it 
just by playing backup, sure, but it's just no reason. There's just no reason, guys. Just because you see videos of people trying to help you doesn't mean it's a smart move, okay? Um, I only like to make videos on things that I'm extremely confident in and that I feel very strongly that my people could also be good in. Um, I'm not going to make a video or even give a shit about views when it's something that I don't recommend people play and I'm not playing personally myself. Um, so just be smart. Save that bankroll for week one. Maybe play light if you're going to have to play. Um, but yeah. Save that bankroll, guys. All right? Thank you guys for joining me as always. Greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad. Let's get this money. I'm out. Peace.